now time to learn this iconic Beethoven melody. Let's start in the first couple measures like we always do. We'll take it several measures at a time so that we can later piece the entire thing together. Measure one, let's take a look at the notes. It's everything that we've already learned in the B-flat major scale, nothing new, also the same as measure two. Three and four, they're all within the first five notes, actually, that we learned in the B-flat major scale. Let's go over them. Measure one, D, D, E-flat, F, F, E-flat, D, C, B-flat, B-flat, C, D, D, C, C. Awesome. You got this. Now I notice in measure four there's a strange rhythm that we haven't seen before. It's a dotted quarter note. Dotted quarter note equals three eighth notes. So while in your head you're thinking the three eighth notes, you're only really playing one. Let's clap the first four measures. You'll see what I mean. I'll clap with you. I'll give you four beats. One, two, three, four. Measure two. Measure three. Measure four. Dun, dun. So again, measure four, in my head, I'm subdividing. One, two, three, da, da. Again. One, two, three, da, da. So the first part of the measure takes up the same time as the only the half note. It's just a little bit more complicated. Let's play together. Starting at measure one, thinking about everything that we just learned, the notes combined with the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Another thing we can note is that the notes, note the notes are moving stepwise, which means one after the other in the same order of the scale. So like we would play a B flat scale, B flat, C, D, E flat, these notes are moving in a similar order, so they're not jumping around. They're the same order that you're used to playing in the scale, which is really nice when we're trying to learn something new. Let's skip ahead to measures five, six, seven, and eight. They look kind of familiar, right? It's pretty much the exact same thing we just learned, except in measure eight, we have different notes, but the same rhythm. So measure eight, we have a C at the end, followed by two B flats, but we still have the same rhythm. Let's clap that rhythm one more time. I'll play with you. One, two, three, four. Measure six. Measure seven. Same exact rhythm, different notes. Moving on, measures 9, 10, and 11 are slightly different. Completely different things, some different rhythms, different note orders. Let's go over the notes. Measure 9, C, C, D, B flat. Measure 10, C, D, E flat, D, B flat. Measure 11, C, D, E flat, D, C, and measure 12, B flat, C, F. This last note, you're thinking F, wow, I've never played that. You have, it's just in a different octave. It's the same fingering as the octave above. First finger in the left hand, middle finger in the left hand, ring finger in the left hand, thumb on the bottom. In the right hand, we only have the first finger. It's the same fingering as the F that you're used to playing in the scale, but it's an octave lower. So the, so the sound, it sounds lower, but it's the same note. Be sure to direct your air really far down into the embouchure hole in order to get that note out. A lot of air directed down into the embouchure hole. Let's try playing measures 10, 9, 10, 11, and 12. By the way, no new rhythms, but pay attention to the eighth notes in measures 10 and 11. They're different from the quarter notes in the rest. One, two, three, four.
Awesome. You can repeat that as many times as, as you want until you feel comfortable. When you feel comfortable with those four measures, let's move on. Measure 13, 14, 15, and 16 also look really oddly familiar, don't they? It's the exact same thing as in the previous measures 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we know the piece. We know it already. We don't have to practice it. Let's not waste our time. So again, by going through systematically, a couple of measures at a time, working out the pitches, followed by the rhythms, learning each little segment, and then piecing them together, we can more easily learn the entire piece of music. Let's play the whole thing one last time together. I'll give you four beats. One, two, three, four. And there you have it, your first Beethoven melody. You'll be an expert in no time.